Today's lesson is on Fahrenheit temperatures. We're going to study the thermometer shown here. This is the thermometer usually used in daily weather discussions. And here's some key um, temperatures when different things happen or how you would uh, relate to the scale. So 32 degrees Fahrenheit is when water freezes. 70 degrees Fahrenheit is a pretty uh, warm day, so let's just say around here. 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit is your normal body temperature, so a little higher than 98. And 212 degrees Fahrenheit is when water boils. And then you're going to answer some questions here. It says, in which of the following temperatures would snow mo most likely fall? 60 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, or 35 degrees Fahrenheit. And it told you on the other slide that at 32 degrees Fahrenheit is when water freezes. So 60 is higher than that. Negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit is lower than that. 90 degrees Fahrenheit is higher than that. And 35 degrees Fahrenheit is higher than that. So it has to be B, negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The hearts you can click on and move to whatever answer you're going to choose. And which of the following temperatures would snow melt? So 0 degrees Fahrenheit negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Safe to say it's C, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Which temperature would be best for swimming in an unheated pool? So seven, negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or D, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, it has to be D. I'm not going swimming when it's negative 70 out because the water would be frozen. Number four, which temperature is warm enough to avoid wearing a jacket? Zero degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit? Okay, so I'm going to say C, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Even though we're close to Chicago, and some people think 50 is fine with no jacket. Number five, which temperature is most likely to be warm enough to go barefoot comfortably? Negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, or 60 degrees Fahrenheit? I'm going to say 80 would be comfortable with no socks or shoes. Okay. So let's go back to the big screen here. All right, use the thermometer to compare these temperatures. It says, number one, what temperature is 30 degrees lower than 32 degrees Fahrenheit? So if you have 32 and you subtract 30 from it, your answer should be 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Number two, what is the boiling point of water for Fahrenheit? So... It tells you on the first screen that it was 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Number three, about what temperature is the normal healthy human body? And it also told you 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Number four, what temperature is the freezing point of water? 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And make sure you put the degree in the scale. I'm sorry, did we do number five? Okay. Let's see what number five is. How many degrees below freezing is zero degrees Fahrenheit? So at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the water freezes. So subtract till you get to 32. So it'd be 32 degrees difference, right? Okay, so let's go to the next one. How many degrees above the freezing point of water is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So freezing point is 32 degrees, so you would subtract 32 from 70, which is 38. So you'd say 38 degrees. Okay, so how many degrees below the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Fahrenheit? So the boiling point of water is 212 degrees, 
So if you subtract 100 from 212, you would get 112 degrees Fahrenheit, right? So number eight, what form, solid, liquid, or gas, does water take at 25 degrees Fahrenheit? So if it freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, anything below that would be a solid. It would freeze. Number nine, what form does water take at 50 degrees Fahrenheit? So say around here, somewhere around here. We're kind of estimating. So 50 degrees Fahrenheit, it is not frozen because it's above 32 degrees where it freezes. So it would be, they're asking the same thing. Is it a solid, liquid, or gas? So it would be a liquid. Okay. And number 10, could you drink water from a glass at zero degrees Fahrenheit? So, if it freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it's going to be a solid, so you're not going to be able to drink it. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.